Electric cars are on their way to become the next big thing. In terms of mileage, performance, and charging time, EVs are miles ahead of internal combustion gas cars. But because people are so ready to switch over to electric vehicles, it's important to find a cost-effective and efficient solid-state battery to replace the usual lithium-ion one. In this video, we're going to tell you exactly why every automobile company out there is trying to win the race for the solid-state battery. Before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Developing a practical solid-state battery might just be the push that EVs need to step into the mainstream. For the longest time, electric vehicles have been running on regular lithium-ion batteries. That means that the same kind of batteries that are used in your phone and laptop are also being used to power huge electric vehicles. The problem with these batteries is that they bleed a lot of heat and in turn require heavy cooling systems to keep the cars running. Because lithium batteries are flammable, they can easily catch fire or even explode if the car gets into an accident. Not only are they expensive to maintain, but they might also be a potential threat to people's lives. All of that aside, because of the low range of lithium batteries, car makers seem to think that solid state batteries will have the answer to all of these problems. But how do solid state batteries work? And are they really all that great? Solid state batteries work pretty much the same as any other battery. The only difference is that they use a solid electrolyte. This reduces the footprint of solid state batteries while also providing them with 2 to 10 times the energy density of regular lithium batteries. Which is why automakers are sure that solid state batteries will help them to bring a revolution to the industry. For example, if the battery of a Tesla Roadster were replaced with a solid state battery, it could double its range to 620 miles from its 200 kilowatt hour battery. Solid state batteries also take up less space and require no cooling components, which means that in the future, electric vehicles might be sleeker and more compact than ever before, without the battery taking up most of the space. Not just that, but solid state batteries are also expected to charge faster than lithium, which means less waiting and more driving. And because these batteries aren't made of a flammable liquid electrolyte, they are much safer to use and can withstand more charge and discharge cycles, resulting in an overall improved battery life. Solid state batteries could be recharged up to seven times more, giving them a potential lifespan of 10 years as opposed to the couple of years of lithium ion battery is expected to effectively last for. The innovation would lower the risk of fires and multiply energy density, which measures the energy a battery can deliver as compared to its weight. Considering all of this, it makes sense why big players in the game like Samsung, Toyota, and Dyson have already made plans to get ahead in the race to develop their own versions of foolproof solid-state batteries. In fact, the solid-state batteries being developed by Toyota promise to revolutionize not just electric vehicles, but also the entire industry, and the company initially planned to show a working prototype of its battery at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. But, of course, their whole plan has been rescheduled for 2021. Toyota plans to be the first company in the world to release a vehicle with solid-state batteries. The prototype is set to be released this year, and the company guarantees that their battery will have a range more than twice the distance of a regular vehicle that runs on lithium-ion. Toyota also promises to release more compact EVs once they perfect their solid-state batteries, giving the world sleeker and more efficient cars than we have ever seen. Their ideal battery is also predicted to take 10 minutes to reach full power, cutting down on charging time by a huge percentage from the current standard that's about 8 hours. Even then, Toyota needs to figure out how to create an electrolyte that won't become deformed by simply charging and discharging the battery, leading to pack failure. Without tackling these problems, the shift towards solid-state batteries isn't really possible. While Toyota currently seems to be winning this race with over 1,000 licenses involving the production of their solid-state batteries, other companies are catching up pretty fast. Samsung has also come forward with their plans of incorporating a silver carbon, or AGC layer, into a prototype pouch cell, enabling the battery to support a larger capacity, a longer cycle life, and enhance its overall safety. Which means that their solid-state batteries are set to be different from anyone else's, giving Samsung an edge right from the start. Not just Samsung, but Nissan Motors also plans to develop their own solid-state battery, which will power their cars by 2028. 
And lastly, Dyson has also announced plans to launch high-end solid-state battery-powered cars that the company plans on gearing towards the mass market. Toyota is also partnering with Panasonic to put solid-state batteries into limited production in 2025. However, even with all of these companies getting things into gear, there's still a lot of uncertainty as to who can really manage to win the race. The reason being that currently production is expensive, which is why solid-state batteries can't be produced on a large scale. So, before anything else, the first and most important step is to find the right materials for solid-state batteries. Companies like Samsung and Dyson have invested in Massachusetts-based firm Onic Materials that's said to be making progress in developing a liquid crystal polymer which might be able to solve the problem and enable EV manufacturers to start producing solid-state battery-powered cars more rapidly. Not just that, but Japanese auto materials workers are rushing to set up the necessary infrastructure to supply automakers. Mitsui Mining and Smelting, commonly known as Mitsui Kinzuko, are set to start up a pilot facility that will make solid electrolytes for the batteries. The Japanese government has also been backing domestic development of solid-state batteries since most of the automobile industry might be switching over to the technology in the future, so it makes sense for governments to be investing in it right now. The rest of the world seems to be following. Germany's Volkswagen plans to have production running for solid-state batteries as soon as 2025, via a joint venture with a US startup. America has also entered into the race with a company called QuantumScape, which is a battery company that's been developing solid-state batteries for some time. So far, QuantumScape has raised $1.5 billion in capital, through a combination of funding from the likes of car giant Volkswagen and public funding. The company claims that their car's batteries will also have an 80% longer range than the ones using today's lithium-ion batteries, making them a game-changer once these batteries go into production, beating everyone else. More recently, Tesla, a company that has already produced about 1 million electric vehicles, has also announced their venture into the solid-state battery industry. With so many other names planning to invest in solid-state batteries and EVs, Tesla definitely does not plan on losing its leading spot without a fight. Recently, Tesla's battery partner CATL has announced that a 1 million mile battery will be coming forth to help Tesla reposition the company. The battery, according to CATL, should last 16 years or 1 million miles. This will not only reduce the environmental effect, but this might also be a reason why Tesla could end up beating Toyota in the electric vehicle race. As we move into the future, transitioning into a world powered by solid-state batteries is inevitable. However, since the concept is still in development, it might take many more years of research and experimentation before the world completely switches over to this new technology. But whatever prototypes exist, it's safe to say that the race to develop a functional and viable solid-state battery to power not just EVs, but tons of other big technologies is in full swing, with companies like Toyota, Samsung, and Tesla making the most impressive headway. Mass production of solid-state batteries to power the future of hybrid cars and EVs is bound to be a huge jump for the automobile industry. And as we rapidly move towards the development of new technologies to produce these long-lasting, environmentally friendly, and compact batteries, whichever company manages to cross the finish line first will definitely go down in history for revolutionizing not just the automobile industry, but the whole world of battery-powered electronics. What do you think of the future of solid-state batteries, and who do you think will ultimately win the solid-state battery race? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one.